Hey colors out there, this is Nathan. Uh, this is going to be episode 10 of Tips and Tricks. Uh, today we're going to learn uh, how to color old school style. Uh, this piece, Pets by Jack Kirby, and uh, I found it on DeviantArt. Um, it was inked by uh, Will Egley, and I'll, I'll put a, a link to his DeviantArt. He does some uh, pretty good uh, ink work. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do um, old school comic book coloring. Uh, for this, replicating a, it's like a 60s or 70s type style, you know, the old, uh, old look, uh, kind of degrading paper and everything. Um, so it should be a lot of fun. Uh, this, uh, I already did my, well, it's pretty much flat color anyway. So, uh, what I had done, it's like I used, uh, uh an old color palette I had found, um, uh, that uh, DC Comics used to use with their uh, um, their water, their dyes that they would use to uh, color comics. Um, I'll put a, a link in the description. There's a very interesting uh, blog post by uh, by Todd, Todd Klein, Letter Extraordinaire, where he talks about uh, uh, working in the early days of the production office of DC Comics. And um, he has a couple good examples of the... Uh, the color swatches uh, you could you could grab from there, um, but yeah, I just use those to, uh, laid laid out my uh, flat colors here. Um, let's see. First off, what we can do um, is just using those uh, those colors. Let me see if I could uh, grab them real quick. Looks like let me see copy. Yeah, so here we go. As you can see, I mean, there's not a whole lot to choose from. Uh, it's not like computers now where you have millions and millions of colors you can use. Uh, back then, these were like the only colors that they could use that would uh, uh, the printers could handle and they would uh, reprint the uh, the way that they had wanted them. Um, so yeah, just use those and just remembering cool colors, you know, recede and you know, just adding, uh, trying to add depth with with just those colors. Uh, you can see like the background colors are a little bit more uh, desaturated, you know, which pushes them back. It helps out a lot. So we got that done. I guess the first thing we can do is the uh, doing the, the pointillized look on the skin tones that you always see. Uh, so yeah, we'll pick a skin tones, go up to filter in our uh, menu. You can't see it on my screen. I have it out there on my uh, on my other screen. Uh, go down to Pixelate and Color Halftone. And this is a little menu you'll see. Um, kind of have to play around with it a little bit. Uh, let's see. You can see here, like, 8 is too big of a size. So we'll undo that. Uh, it really is like a lot of trial and error. So Color Halftone again. Try six, and yeah, that looks a lot better for the size. And um, what you can do now is you can go up to uh, your edit menu. There should be like fade. Um, it'll it'll always do. Uh, it'll fade back like the last uh, uh, action that you performed. For me, you can just hit Command or Control Shift and then F. It brings up your fade menu anyway. Uh, let's fade that back some. Let's see how that looks. Mm, 25. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. You still see the skin tone, you can still see the dots on it. So we will do the same thing on uh, this guy down here. And again, we'll fade that back 25%. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, Next step, you know, we'll age it up. We'll pick a uh, go on top of everything. Oh, actually, I need to because with their uh, metal, they would always do like a light blue, but then with uh, uh, with white. Uh, so I pick that. I hit this white as well. I'll fill that in, and I'll just uh, yeah, I have like a, a hybrid brush. So it's not uh, uh, too, it's not too solid. You know, it's not not a hard edge. 
uh, kind of give it the look like it's kind of bleeding a little bit around the edges. So I think that'll work pretty nice. And again, just keeping it really simple. We don't want to do uh, too much. Because again, the color coloring back then is really quick, really fast. And I, I think that, that'll do it right there. Um, all right, so now on top of everything, we'll get a nice cream color. Just fill in your whole canvas. And I'll set that to multiply. So already, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Looking pretty aged already. Um, next thing, uh, I think we'll add like some texture on top of everything. Uh, let me go to my bridge. I have a uh, folder on my desktop that has all kinds of, uh, it's like a morgue file, um, where you just stuff you collect, textures that you like to use and everything. And uh, Let me see, where did I put it? I have a old paper texture. Copy that. Air clockwise. Let's go ahead and just scale this up. Uh, cover the whole thing here. And we'll set that to overlay. It's a little too bright, so we'll darken it some. And turn down the saturation all the way. So this is so that's what we're looking at. And then set to overlay. Uh, darken it a little bit. Brighten it up in some spots. I think that looks uh, looks pretty good. Nice crease in it. I like that. Um, let's see. Maybe there's something else. Let's do... This is for some other job I was working on earlier for work. Uh, so we could do a creased, just doing a uh, search real quick, creased uh, corner. I thought I had something here. My, uh, I'm not finding it at the moment. But you know, you could add like a little ripped edge or something like that, and really, like really add to it as well. But um, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this one. Like I said, it's really quick, really easy. Um, the most important part is the color choices. Um, you know, making sure you got the right size uh, dot on there as well helps out a lot. Um, Let's see what it looks like if we do. That looks kind of cool too. Maybe we'll fade it back 10%. I mean, uh, do everything except for the skin tone. Oops. Except for the skin tone since we already did those. We'll see how that looks. And then fade it back to 10%. Yeah, I think I'm liking that and it adds like a nice texture to it and everything. Um, That look we'll just lighten up the line art a little bit. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it was pure black and then it looks like it was printed on that paper. So yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. Um, that's it. Simple, uh, really fast, using you know the right textures, uh, right colors, 
And uh, yeah, there we go. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just let me know. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.